hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know who i am of course my name is nikki if this is your first time here don't forget to hit that don't forget <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell beside it so you never miss an upload from me and also give this video a nice big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know what types of videos you guys want to see next now today is going to be a different video this is going to be my very first mukbang video i wasn't a fan of these at first sorry y'all i'm wearing a sports bar right now i just want to be comfortable and free and yeah so i do have clothes on <laughs> but yeah today's video is my very first mukbang video um i was never always a fan of these like i'm i just started really getting into them because I just never liked the idea of watching someone eat and talk at the same time. But, you know, some of these videos really have some interesting conversations. And I think it's a really cool idea to just, you know, eat your food while you're, you know, conversing with someone. You know, about very interesting intellectual topics. So, what the hey? Here we are. <laughs> my very first month of my video. Now, I didn't go out and buy, like, Chipotle or nothing like that. I have some grapes, and yes, I'm using plastic, plastic bowls and plates because I ain't got time to wash no dishes, and I have a hot pocket. I did not feel like cooking anything, and I'm just hungry, and I'm ready to eat, so warm me up a hot pocket, wash me some grapes, at least I got a fruit somewhere, so yeah, so this is going to be what I'm eating while I'm talking to you guys. So, yeah, like I said, I wasn't really a fan of these videos, but, you know, I've really grown to, to like them. So, I thought, why not do my own mukbang video? And here I am. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. <laughs> but, yeah. So, today, I just thought I would talk about you know topics that are important to me and some things that i've been going through and a lot of other people similar in my similar situations you know could be going through as well so one of the things that i want to discuss is how i've had to come to terms of almost being 30 and not being where i want to be financially let's be honest let's keep it real Financially, career-wise, relationship-wise, <laughs> all of that. So, I feel like I am knocking on the door of 30. I really, honestly, and truly, this year I'll be 27 years old. The summer of this year, I'll be 27 years old. No, I'm not quite 30 yet, but I'm closer to 30 than I am 20, and I still don't feel like I have all my ish together I went through a point when I was in college where I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do I changed my major to something that I was good at but I wasn't really passionate about it oh and y'all I have my power AT so yeah I changed my major to something I wasn't really passionate about which is teaching I love kids, but I don't have a passion for teaching. So, here I am, stuck in a career that I don't like. A couple years later, I realized how much I really love makeup. And I found my love for makeup. And I just knew that I wanted to do something dealing with makeup. So, I decided I would start a YouTube channel. I came across YouTube, saw these YouTubers doing really great, really successful. A couple, I really followed their journey. Like, I've been following them for years. Um, Nitra B was the very first YouTuber that I came across and fell in love immediately because her personality, you know, her makeup skills were on point. I love the house to home stuff that she does. I've, I mean, I've been following her for years. Like, even before she was married, to now having been married, have a baby, 
everything. And I just absolutely love her. So shout out to you, Nitra. I love you. But yeah. So I decided I would start my own channel. And hey, I, if they can do it, I can do it. Started it. Just dive right in. Really didn't know what to expect. Didn't know what I was doing. I just turned the phone on and started recording. That was it. Fell off because life just kind of life hit. Life really hit. So I had to put YouTube down by the wayside and do what I had to do to pretty much survive. So. I was doing that, working, 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 working. I was pretty much working to pay bills. I wasn't really living. I wasn't doing any of the things that I wanted to do. I wasn't traveling, anything like that. So finally, 2018, which was last year, I got so serious. In the end of 2018, I'm gonna do this. Sorry, y'all. I'm hungry. <laughs> 2018, in the last year, I'm gonna do this. Best foot for it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dive right in. Been doing it ever since. Around the beginning of this year, I started struggling with why isn't my following growing? Why don't I have more subscribers? I see all these people growing, a lot of YouTubers. Why am I not growing? And so, there were times where I just really wanted to quit, but I didn't give up. I just kept going because I know this is something that I want to do. Makeup is my passion. This is what I want to be doing. So, with everything going on, time is going by and getting older. And I'm thinking in my head like, dang, I'm almost 30 and I'm still not where I want to be. And people have this notion about 30, you should have everything together. Life just doesn't work that way for everybody. Like, you can't expect a person to have everything together by 30, especially when they're just figuring out who they are and what they want to do. And that was me. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that was me. I was figuring out what I wanted to do and I had just figured it out. So here I am, I'm thinking in my head, oh, I should be married by, I should be met the man I'm married by now, I should have met my soulmate by now, we should be getting ready to get engaged soon, and about two years later have a baby, I should be wealthy right now, I, should, I started thinking all of this. And it depressed me for a while. It really did. And for those of you who've never experienced depression, it is not a funny feeling. It is not something that you ever want to feel like. Depression is real. Depression is serious. And I've been depressed before. I struggle with anxiety to this day. Panic attacks. All of that. So I take mental health very seriously and self-care well-being i take all of that very seriously because that's something that i struggle with even now so i have to really make sure i'm watching myself i'm not getting overworked i'm not stressing myself out i really make sure i'm watching for those things so yeah i really have to come to the conclusion of it's not how long it takes you to get there. It doesn't matter the time. It doesn't matter. You can be 40 and just now make just making your first million. I'll be satisfied if I get 40 years old and I make a million dollars because that's a goal of mine in life. I want to see I want to make a million dollars. I want to gross a million dollars. And I feel like it shouldn't matter how long it takes me to do that. I had to really sit down and say, what do I want to do? What are my goals? And how am I going to reach those goals? So I really had to do 
a lot of soul searching, a lot of meditation, a lot of praying. I leaned on a couple of my closest friends who really, you know, understood me. Like, my best friend who's the same age as me. And then another friend who's a little bit older. He's in his 30s already. And he really, you know, he really gave me some good sound advice on, you know, it not being okay to have it all together. Um, it, of it being okay to not have it all together. I'm sorry. But yeah, you don't always have to have everything together. It's okay. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. We all get a late start sometimes. Well, some of us get a late start. I'm not going to say we all because some people, they pop out the wound know what they're going to do, what they're going to be, and they figure it out at an early age. And then some of us also have to start from the bottom. And when I say the bottom, I mean the real, real, real bottom. I mean, now you come from a wealthy background and you got startup money, you got thousands of dollars laying around to start a business or to do whatever you like. I'm talking about from the bottom where you got $5 in your pocket for gas, $0 in your account, your bank account. You don't know how you're going to eat. You eating ramen noodles for the week, just praying for payday to hurry up and come. I mean, like, start from the bottom. Like, you lost your place. You live. You had to live with somebody for a year, over a year. You struggling to start over. Me, 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 me. Um, and you just really didn't know. Like, a lot of people turned their backs on you. I mean, I'm talking like that. So, and not saying anything is wrong with being privileged. It's, there is nothing wrong with that. Like, a lot of times, I wish that I had rich parents. I had a rich uncle somewhere that could send me some money so that I could start, you know, what I want to start. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I do value my work ethic because I have, I have to struggle and still struggling so hard. It makes me work harder, and everything I get, I appreciate it a little bit more because I know it didn't come easy, and it wasn't handed to me. So that's what I mean by that. You know, not knocking people who are successful and who had rich families and people that have I'm not knocking you at all. I'm not here to debate the definition of self-made or start from the bottom. I'm just saying that's what I feel it feels to me. So, yeah. I really had to just come to the notion of I still got some time to really just get myself together. I know what I want to do, and I'm taking the steps to get there. And now I'm at a point where, what more can I do? How can I enhance on what I'm already doing? How can I expand? So, that's really just something that, you know, it's just, there's just no way in, you know, on me. And I thought, if I'm gonna do my very first mukbang, why not do one talking about something that I'm really dealing with. Just, you know, what I really think. And that's what I'm feeling. You know, almost being 30 and not having my issue together. But I'm working on it. So I really had to think, hey, I'm working on becoming a better me. I'm making the steps. I'm doing it. So that counts for something. I'm not just sitting around on my butt. I'm up on making things happen. So now I'm thinking, what can I do? Like I said, expand more. I know I need to work on networking more. Talk to people who, you know, who are doing, actually doing what I want to be doing. And just, you know, traveling and going to some of these places and going to see, you know, some of the bigger corporations and just, you know, seeing if I could see how things work and, you know, how they go or, you know, just, just things like that. I think that would really be helpful. So, getting ready to turn 30 and not having things together is something that I really think about. You know, I really do think about. And another thing I want to talk about was like adjusting to YouTube. But I kind of tied that in a little bit. Um, doing YouTube is hard. It's not easy. And I never thought... That was easy ever. I don't care what position you're in. It's not easy. Because getting in front of a camera in itself and talking 
to the camera, <laughs> it's hard enough. Because a lot of times it can make you nerve wracking. This is going to be on the internet. The internet is forever. You don't want to put nothing up there that you don't feel proud of or you just don't value or you don't think it's good enough. So, adjusting to that part was really hard for me because I'm not a public speaker. I don't like talking, you know, in open public settings. So, that was one thing I had to get adjusted to. Also, making the videos, editing them, that was really hard for me as well. And just making a video in general is hard because I work two jobs. I've always worked two jobs. Then I went to working one for a couple months. Now I'm working two again. And it's even harder because I'm trying to get back into the swing of working both jobs again. And also filming. Like this week, I set a goal to record a video every single day this week. So, I have three more days left. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I have three more days left to record just three more videos. And then I'm going to go back to my every other day schedule. Because this is really hard. Thinking of content and then having the time and just being tired. It's been so hard to film. It really has been super duper hard. But... By the grace of God, I'm doing it. So, if you're an inspiring YouTuber, definitely just put in the hard work. You can do it. I'm only at 26 subscribers right now. And one day I'm gonna look up and it's gonna be 26,000. One day I look up 100,000. I look up again a million. I just believe in myself that much. And I believe that. God is going to put me exactly where I need to be. And I have enough faith that I'm going to continue to work hard and put in the work for these videos. Even if I'm talking to 26 people. Because if I inspire one, two, three, four out of the 26, or even just one, I feel like I'm doing a good service and I'm doing something great for somebody else. So, I say all of this to say, just to kind of wrap it up because I don't want to be talking to y'all's head off for like 30 minutes. But just always believe in yourself continue to do you never let anybody put you in a box don't let anybody set any types of standards I've been there people have been so pushy they try to pressure me to do things people have always tried to box me but kick that box out like don't let anybody try to box you don't let anybody tell you what you should be doing don't let nobody do any of that to you so if I inspire just one person with this video i'm gonna be happy so if this video was inspirational to you do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and leave me a heart emoji or just say leave me just a nice little message or a nice little note if this message really you know inspired you if this video inspired you just go ahead yes and let me know i love to hear from you guys i love to hear the positive feedback you know i just I just love seeing your comments. They really motivate me and inspire me to really keep going. So, if you're like me, just keep pushing, keep going. Don't let anything stop you. And remember, God got your back. Just pray and have faith. And that's all you need. And some hard work, determination, and persistence. And you're going to be all goody. Alright, you guys. So, if you enjoyed this video give it a nice big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave me a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye